is just a simple on off switch put in about 20 years ago and it failed it's in the cabin and it hardly has had any usage I had another one that failed the same way um, what happens is that bugs and stuff will find themselves in some cracks like this and I'm not sure if they're attracted to the electricity the switch is normally off and they just get impacted around the contact so maybe it's warm or it's ants or whatever but I've had switches like this be in houses last decades and what they do this is just a bunch of little pieces of ants and junk they crawl in through the back of the switches and they just pack themselves around the contact for some reason and I guess they get fried because that's open and then there's more and more that are on there so if I wouldn't have busted off the little rivets that are on here these are the rivets like on this like if it was screwed together you could just take it apart and clean it so you can go back and forth over and over again and sometimes it'll clear up I tried this you know for five minutes went back and forth and I said this is weird because I thought something had physically broken you know in here but it's just got the crud little bugs and stuff there they are the little ants it just impacted in there and I think I've heard some phone guys tell me that sometimes they're attracted to electricity I don't know what's going on with that but um, there they are just all impacted around the contact of course this rocker here goes back and forth just pushes down on here and I just kind of took a pair of pliers and busted this open it's put in about 20 years ago this cabin doesn't get used it's just a switch that runs a fan um, to pull some exhaust out, uh, out of an attic and it's just got gobs and gobs of bugs and I had one that was with a pilot light I replaced just like this it was a switch plus a pilot light that let me know that was a socket was live on the outside and it was about 20 years old and it failed I replaced it last year it was the same darn thing so you just wonder if you had a compressed air you blew in here you might get some of that out but it's just completely full of crud that's just a single on off switch for 100 and this was used for 120 volts and I didn't use the push connectors I actually used the hook up on the wires but see you've got open holes on here so what's weird is this would probably last longer if I went through and put some RTV in these holes so you would prevent any way any path for the ants to get in there now they can squeeze through some little bitty spots here you can see some of the little antibodies once it's bizarre